the simplest terror, you're sitting in the synagogue and everyone is making the chayims and then they're bidding on all the kibbutim, all of the honors. The kol ne'arim, tefilas geshem, opening the the arn kodesh, chasen teir, chasen brachis. So anyways, they go for thousands of dollars in most synagogues. All of these things, okay? People bid and they outbid each other. They're wondrous blessings associated with all of these kibbutim. Yes, uh, Shadler, how did I get? Let's connect the people who need the blessings with the shluchim who need the money. Isn't that brilliant? Let's connect the people who need the blessings with the shluchim who need the money. You're sitting in the synagogue, okay? And by the time you raise your hand, you know, you know that moment where you put your hand up, like, a hundred, and then the guy on the left said, like, a thousand or two thousand, you're like, it's okay, I can handle the rejection. But you don't have to anymore. You don't have to handle the rejection. Kibbid, my friends, kibbid. Get online. Okay, right now there's like 140 different posts. What's up? Hello. There's a Hassan Tyre now for like $85. Okay, there's a cult. There's a Tfilas Geshem for $72 available to bid and $360 to buy now. $72 to bid and $360 to buy now at Tfilas Geshem. Tfilas Geshem opening the, the Arn Kaitish opening the Ark. You know how much that goes for in most synagogues? Thousands. It's such a powerful segula for Parnassa. Whoa, dude. Okay, so if you're one of these people who really truly value the blessings associated with all these kibbutim, you know what you could do? You could like buy up everything. If you know the value of these blessings, okay, how they pay off, go on kibbutz right now and buy everything. I'm serious. And, and you know what? Your shul is going to be just fine. In fact, you can sit Quietly, when everyone else is bidding, you can sit with your hand comfortably down, just resting on your armchair, okay? Because you know, you know you did the work. You know, you know that your tzedakah that you've already donated is hard at work generating so much simcha around the world in synagogues, dude. Where's all that light going to shine? It's going to shine back on you. Think of that yid who's dancing now because you paid for the kibbutz over there in his synagogue. Now, I, I heard you guys have sent me a, a voice note, okay? Send me a voice note of, of a rabbi who said, Yosef, you know, we, we have a very small community. No one bids. They don't have money, you know? So we we put it, we put it up over there on your site and we made five, six hundred bucks. That made a big difference over here. So first of all, your, your money is going to be hard at work. Okay, all those lives impacted with your three hundred sixty dollars, whatever it is you're giving over there. That all that joy, that that's your schluss. So in your synagogue, don't worry about them; they're going to be fine. Here's your chance to really shine. You know, there there are people who said, "Hey, Yosef, last year we bid on different kibbutzim." This one woman said, two weeks later, I went out with my chas, another person who was struggling financially for a really long time. Within a month. Simchas a door opened up for him that was never opened before. And by Pesach time, he got his dream job. Guys, plant the seeds now. Go to Kibbutz. And you'll have such a joyous yum of knowing that you're a part of, of, of a real response to a very real need, which will shower blessings down on you and your family. Good yum